Family and friends tried to take some comfort in the tributes left for Yasmin Shakifi. The mum of two, seen here on a cooking blog, was stabbed to death on Monday by her ex-husband, Leon McCraskey. But one man tried to save her life and stopped the attack with his car. In a statement, 26-year-old Ibrahim says he drove towards the attacker to get him away from the woman. He did not intend to harm the man. He was trying to protect those being attacked, adding his only regret was not being there sooner so he could have saved the woman's life. McCraskey died, leading Ibrahim to be arrested on suspicion of murder. He's now on bail whilst the police investigate. His lawyers say that should end. He has helped the police, he's given them a full statement and uh, he doesn't intend to do anything but help the police and maybe a coroner in due course. Um, but to have this criminal case of murder hanging over him is, uh, is too much. Chippenham Road is a busy street in the west of London so at 9am on a Monday morning it would have been filled with commuters on their way to work. One of those was Ibrahim and when he saw what was happening right by his car he felt he had to intervene. There has been some sympathy from the public for his actions. This online petition has reached 30,000 signatures calling Ibrahim a hero. I just hope he doesn't um, he doesn't get charged with anything later on because then that will stop other people, the public, from intervening. But there is a legal process that needs to be followed. Obviously, if there are any uh, changes to the factual position as it was known at the time, then you would expect uh, there to be a prospect of a de-arrest. The Met Police say two families are bereaved and looking for answers and only when they have all of the facts can they consider the most appropriate action. Louise Scott, ITV News.